Melissa gave me permission to play guitar in the middle of the night, she said. It doesn't. does not wake her up. to shift to B major.
I did not properly press down on any of the keys there, but I semi-pressed down on all of them, so that, I don't know, just wanted to say that. want to talk about whatever. This is C6, by the way. Is it? Yes, C6. You can't really force the pinky. Okay, so... Footrest includes a Noam Chomsky book called Failed States.
Okay, let's just do this the easy way. I don't know why I had G pretty solidly for a while. Maybe it's because it's my first practice since waking up. And okay, we already attempted the B major chord. So go to B minor. to stretch my hand. Anyways, um, I wanted to mention I have this issue um, I had like this child uh, guitar from Toys R Us ten years ago, and I spent maybe not a, not definitely not as much effort as I'm putting into it now. But one of the things I learned while trying to learn this Toys R Us guitar, uh, you see the fret, uh, what do you call them, tangs? Um, it said for the best sound go as close to the tang as possible. But when you're forming something like uh, B7, just the way the fingers work, you have to like, the middle finger would have to go uh, higher, and then the ring finger is lower, and then the pinky finger is the lowest. And that's just how my hand works, unless I somehow developed muscles. But some of the, the some of it is like tendons, and like do, do do tendons develop? Anyways, let's just do that again so I can show you. which is similar to C7, which I've been doing for a while. Okay, yeah, that's... I was talking to someone about how major 7, basically, you don't play the 6th or the 1st string, so if you're strumming, you have to pr precisely strum the middle 4 uh, strings, and so far, like, for example, um, C major 7, which is this, It's not too hard to skip the 6th string if you don't have to worry about skipping the 1st string. And I suppose during an upstroke it would be the opposite, or the same, like say, say basically I can skip the 6th string like that, or skip the 1st string like this, uh, but what I have to do with B major 7 is skip the 6th and the 1st, so it's like this. It's basically something I have to learn um, through repetition, of course. Anyways, back to the chords. BBM6. And 
see, during an upstroke like that, I don't know if you just noticed that. So I'm play, I'm skipping the fifth and the sixth string, and going down, no problem. But going up, you either don't properly hit the fourth string, or you do hit the fourth string, but then you accidentally hit the fifth string. I hope this is pretty easy to understand, and I hope I'm not boring you by explaining this. So... That's BB plus, whatever that means. Now for the F chords. Now this is either... F7 or F major 7, still don't know. Uh, then we have Fm6, which I assume is F minor 6, which goes like this. I assume means F diminished. Uh, see, the problem I was just talking about, we're having that a lot with these. Uh, wait, F6. Did we do F6? I don't remember. But we're going to do it like this, especially because the pinky needs work. Okay, and this is a new chord the first time I'm playing it, F5, which is only three, well, not, I wouldn't call them open because they're, uh, they're pressed, but, you know. So that was my first time playing that. And that reminds me of G minor. Which I like to play with F7 or F major 7. which I don't know what it is, but it's part of my practice routine. And then I like to go... to practice and I hope to one day uh, expand on and I don't know where my mouse is. Anyways, here's the other page. Um, so we have a new thing to play with, but first let's just do this. And 
then these scales, I'm going to do the new scale last. Uh, these scales, I was told, first of all, try to use multiple fingers, and second of all, try to sustain them more. So. Remember, I'm still learning how to play blind. Like, I can't look at this area and this area at the same time. <coughs> so unless I'm going very slow, um, I have to be what I call blind in one area. I have to either be blind up here or blind down here. So that's why I sometimes go like, like that. Okay. So, the new one. Um, well, in order to learn this, I'm going to have to be blind on both areas if I'm going to look at the screen. So now there's three areas that I have to look at. So it starts... This is pretty advanced for me. Okay, so that's how it goes in slow motion. No. I'm gonna do it with one finger just because it's easier to memorize this way. Okay, there we go. So that's how much. My friend laughed when I told him people get bored of watching the repetition of this part. Um, but to be fair, I spend a lot less time on individual chords, or at least equal time on individual chords as these scales. Anyways, I remembered I forgot one. I'm trusting my ability to be blind over here and focusing on being here, so that's where a lot of the mistakes are coming from. Okay, okay, okay.
So I'm working on a few things here. I'm working on being blind here, and I'm working on sustaining here, uh, and I'm working on using more than one finger. So that's why it's all messed up. So I apologize uh, if that was kind of droning or whatever. Um, or like basically what you're seeing with me, what I just did there, that was basically an infant moving its arms and legs around uh, just to figure out how its muscles work. Um, anyways, we have one last thing to practice. Something I've gotten a bit better on, but is difficult. Okay, we usually cross our leg at this point. not perfect. And more and more, the more I play this, the more my friend's suggestion from a long time ago that I get the guitar set up makes sense to me. I mean, there's also the issue of the strength of my hand and I know I have very weak hands because I'm weak in general. <laughs> <laughs> 